to Off Bench Casa Edition as uh, Contact Tracy has kept your boy at home. Sorry for anyone listening on Terrestrial Radio. We are dealing with some technical difficulties uh, right now, but uh, we are going to make the best of it. The show must go on. Why? Because I am very excited, as we do every Tuesday, to welcome in the head coach of the LSU football team. we got a lot to talk about today. Coach O, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining us. Hey, Bob. Good morning. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Coach. So, look, the big news of the day, let's just go ahead and start here. Uh, it's been a long and winding road to this point when it comes to defensive coordinator. It looks like you all have landed on a guy, Durante Jones. We just talked about him a lot. Um, what What – First off, what can you say about the process, where it's at right now, yeah. as far as LSU hiring a defensive coordinator? You know, obviously, it's not finalized yet. But I feel really good about the process and what she's doing. And uh, Durante uh, interviewed yesterday. He did a very good job. Uh, very impressive. Uh, knows the same defense that uh, I'm used to. Same coverages, same fronts. Very sound, uh, very articulate. I think he'd do a great job. I present the defense to our team, and he's an up and coming star in the coaching ranks. And, and and so we kind of talked about that a little while ago, right? He, it's it's a lot of similarities to someone like Jake Peach, and that you know this is going to be his big break. I think there's a lot of value there. I think that's a guy who's willing to work harder uh, for that opportunity. Um, but but let me let, let me kind of know how this opportunity came about. Like, how originally did Jones get on that radar once the search yeah. moved past Ryan Nielsen and started to move into other names? Right. You know, he, he was recommended to me by Dave Aranda. And uh, I trust Dave. And I called Dave and I asked him over the top defensive coordinators in the country. And he and I went down the list. And there were several guys that I called but they didn't want to leave where they were at. So uh, Durante was right there where uh, I interviewed him, and uh, there was uh, an opportune time, and I'm glad if we, if we do get him, I think he's doing an outstanding job for us. And I know that a lot was about um, connecting with his players, and then, and then specifically, Coach, I, I think that, look, there's talent all over the LSU defense right now, the entire D-line returning, uh, a, a guy like Mason Smith being added to the mix. Uh, but then you look at that secondary, right? A couple of five-star safeties coming in, uh, upperclassmen returning that safety job. I mean, what better cornerback combination than Eli Ricks and Derek Stingley is there out there? Um, when you look at the secondary struggles of last year, how much of this decision was also kind of tied into the fact that that's where Jones, Coach Jones, is really specialized, right? I mean, he has been coaching secondaries for years and years, including the yeah. last five years in the NFL. And I think it would be perfect to know he's but with Coach Raymond, Coach McCord, you know, Coach the Corners. Uh, uh, if Durante gets the job, he will coach the safeties, which will have some new safeties there, two young, great safeties, so I think it's perfect. Uh, the front will be handled by Durante, but I'll have a lot of say so of what we're doing up front, which I like. Uh, we'll bring an outstanding linebacker coach. I have a linebacker coach coming in today for an interview. Okay. I have a defensive line coach coming in tomorrow for an interview. And if everything goes good, we'll have all staff for Okay, let's go. We're talking to LSU head football coach uh, Ed Ogeron here on Off the Bench, one over 500 with 7 ESPN. Uh, all right, coach. So with that in mind, I, I, I know that we already talked about it, right? When you look at recruiting, the offense is a little more in the boat already. Uh, you're a defensive coach, as you've talked about, so you're okay with taking your time defensively. Uh, how is football school going thus far, and how excited are you to hopefully have a full staff for football school going forward? Yeah, I'm really excited about having a football staff, or hopefully by next Tuesday. But, you know, we have football school today and Thursday. We've been handling the defense fine. We've been doing individual individual skills with our guys. In fact, in fact they like to get better. They don't have to worry about installation. All about technique, and we have some great coaches on our staff that are teaching these guys. Jake and DJ have been running with the softness. They're here Saturday night, Sunday. Uh, our players are raving about the offense, about the install, about the energy that they're bringing. So things are going very well. 
When, and, and I want to ask you about uh, Coach Pete's because in his opening press conference, one of my favorite things that I loved uh, was that he he basically started saying, look, it's not football time right now. We're trying to establish trust, right? I, I want to make sure that these players know yeah. me. They feel comfortable coming over to my home. They know my family. I want yeah. them to trust me, and then the football will come after that, right? Like it goes hand in hand. It will help the football. How do you think that process is going so far here, just like a couple of weeks into it? Well, well I'll see more people in the office, the offensive guys that I want players in the office than I've been the last three years. Huh. And they're all in and out the office, watching film, talking to coaches, getting to know them. I think that's going very well. And then what about this team, Coach? Um, it was uh, it was definitely an up-and-down year, right? But three and five, didn't know. I mean, staring that trip in Florida in the face, finished strong, five and five, yeah. good recruiting. Like, there's a lot of momentum gained. Sometimes those down years have a way of yeah. kind of reigniting the passion, right? I mean, it's a far cry from coming off a national championship. What is the difference right. in attitude or kind of the feel of this team versus maybe yeah. even – last year's team when they were fresh off that championship? Well, you know, like I said, we've done a championship program. In order to build it, you got to go through the loads. you got to develop grit. you got to develop toughness. And I think this team, this team showed that at the end. Now, uh, we cannot have the mistake that we have with the best last year. Now, that was uh, a side down shoot football, and that's why I made a change. Uh, we played pretty good offense for most of the season. Obviously, there's some areas where it gets better and we need to address that. But I think overall, we need to make the most improvement on defense this year. If we do, we're going to be fine. And, and, and so, when you look at making improvement at defense, what do you think the uh, what do you think the key areas that you have to improve are? Like, like where you know, where where are you highlighting? Yeah, we need to play more. Um, we need to put our players in position. They're cleaning the grass, but they know what we're doing. Eliminate mental error and let them play. We got some great athletes. You know, uh, you know, we played some great offense, but we can match these guys. Let our guys play. And then finally, coach, uh, second signing day right around the corner here. Um, how's it going? What's it like? I mean, y'all have been one of the most adept in the entire country with things like uh grad transfers, using the trip, really, really yeah. taking all of your options into account. How's this thing shaping up heading into second signing day? You know, right now we have two solid commitments, which was we had 22. We have uh, three guys out there that I feel like we've got a chance to get. And then we have three solid uh, transfer linebackers in the portal. That I talked to yesterday, and I called three of them, and hopefully we can get one of them. Oh, man. Okay. Some news there from LSU head football coach Ed Ogeron. Coach, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, enjoy football school. Uh, wait, one more, real quick. One more, real quick. A couple of weeks ago, you talked about Anthony Bradford coming in, looking like he was in better shape. Obviously, with those young offensive linemen, that's an area of improvement that a lot of people are focused on. Uh, how's it going on the offensive line in terms of uh, their time with Tommy Moffat right now? Yeah, they, they're working hard. Obviously, we have a little work to do with Anthony. Uh, he came back and uh, he had lost a little weight. And now we, we're, we're working on getting down to the goal weight of 330. <laughs> working hard. We have a lot of guys in the week. We have people. Nutritionists that are working very hard, working very hard with them, going to the store with them, teach them how to eat. So hopefully we can improve in that area. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Thank you so much. Uh, you have an excellent day. All right, man. Go Tigers. Yes, sir. Go Tigers. Uh, all right. When we get back here on Off the Bench, we're going to continue to try to figure out these technical difficulties, hopefully. Um, thank you for sticking around with us, uh, Coach O, though. Letting you know that it's not just the Durante Jones hire coming in, linebacker coach coming in, D line coming in. So this, um, so this process, this coaching staff is starting to take shape. Uh, we'll be back with more off the bench next here on 104.5, 100.3, and 94.7 ESPN.